can one feel to two it in my bones. Thou hast gotten thee one people. You have made it 100 miles to freedom. And unto this people, Would you like to book whom a thou name? lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. I'm in the book of Proverbs, chapter 21 and verse 16. Bring it out. And it reads, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So we Israelites, we have wandered away from the way of understanding. What is the way of understanding? The law, statutes, and commandments are the most high. That's right. We have wandered from hearing the law. We don't want to hear the law. Give me 28, 9. Of our property. We don't want to hear God's law. We just want to do it. We want to be free. The white man freed us from slavery. But you forgot how many of you they killed. How many of your cities they bombed and burned to the ground. How they integrated you and corrupted you even further. You really think you're free? You're in the lands of your captivity. Bound in shackles and chains that you can't even see. They took them from around your neck and up your feet and hands and put them in your mind. Your mind is on lockdown. You're spiritually broke out here. Bring it out. Proverbs 28 and 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. He that what? He, he that, that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. The Christian church say you're not under the law, you're under the grace. They misunderstand what this word is talking about. How are you going to be... China got law, stats, commandments, and ordinances. Germany got law, stats, commandments, and ordinances. America got law, stats, commandments, and ordinances. But I'm in the kingdom of God, and ain't no law, stats, commandments, and ordinances. You got a uh, hundred million Christians, and Christ has split himself up into a hundred million parts, and holding their hand and walking with them. This is insanity. This is insanity. We got to learn how to get up and walk. Christ on the cross said, man, it is finished. I did my part. You niggas going to have to do your part. You going to have to repent and return and keep your God laws as it is written. Right. Or you're going to perish. So he that turned away his ear from hearing God's law, statutes and commandments, even what? His prayer shall be an abomination. Even your prayer is a very detestable and disgusting thing to the Most High. Right. He stop up his ears. Mm -hmm. You stop up your ears when the, when God law is coming out. So now when you get in trouble and you start to pray, Oh God, help me. Now he stop up his ears. You mock God when he call you. Now, when your troubles and fear come, you about to get locked up. Now, oh God, oh Jesus, help me. God said, now I got to mock you. Because you think it's a game. Bring that out. Second Ezra is what? Oh, uh, 12, ain't it? No, precept. 12, bring it out. Second Ezra is 12 and what? 12, 6. Second Ezra is 12 and verse 6. Bring it out. No. Therefore will I now beseech the highest. No, no. It's uh, 12 teen. Bring it out. This is the book of John, chapter 9, verse number 31. Bring it now, out. Now we know that God here is not sinners. Yes. God does no, what? But now now we know that God here is not sinners. But the Christian church say God hears the sinner's prayer. Now we know that God here is not sinners. The most I don't hear no sinners. But, huh? But if any man be a worshiper of God, if you keep in God laws and have faith in Christ and doeth His will, uh -huh. Him He heareth. That's who God gonna hear. Right. Give me, uh, give me uh, Psalm forty verse uh, uh, eight. Uh, eight right quick. Book of Psalms. Because He said, "Do God will." What is God will? See, we the, you know, the Christian church is poison up. We think we free to just do what we want to do. No. We are under grace. We got a certain period of time to remember our nationality uh -huh. and come back to our God and do what he say. And teach our children That's to right. do what he say. I come to do thy will, O God. I delight to do thy will. So when we going to start delighting to do God's will? We out here doing Satan's will. Yeah. 
everything that we doing out here, get that one there, you know I'm talking about this uh, second energy. Listen, everything that we doing out here is in the name of Satan. How We don't want to do God's will. It's only one other that we can serve, and that's Satan. If I don't do God's will, I'm doing Satan's will. It's one or the other. Choose either this day who you're going to serve. I wish you were neither hot nor cold, but since you neither hot nor cold but lukewarm, I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth. Huh? I'm going to turn you over to Satan. I'm going to kick you out of the land of Israel and throw you into slavery. I'm going to even deceive you too. Because you want to take you somewhere that you really not. You know where. The scripture says if a man thinks he's something when he's really nothing, he deceives himself. Right. And stop being so proud and arrogant. Let not a man think more highly of himself than he ought. The most I has given each and every one of us Israelites out here a measure of faith. Each one of us, we not better than one another. That's right. God said if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him minister according to the abilities that the most high gave him. Everybody's not an evangelist. Everybody's not a teacher. Everybody's not a pastor. Everybody's not a scholar. Everybody's not a minister of music. But God has given each man a gift, a talent. And we are knitted together as one body in Christ. We need each other. Can the knee say to the leg, I don't need you? No, sir. Can the eye say to the ear, I don't need you? All our body parts need each other to function properly. Let them cut off your, one of your feet. You ain't working right no more. Lose an arm or an eye. You need two eyes to see properly. Huh? Bring it up. What's up, right? Chapter 2. Verse number 16. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the Lord. Read it again. Uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse number 16. Bring it out. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. Yes. And they that love him shall be filled with the Lord. So if you love me, keep my commandments. We shall all be filled with the law, statutes, and commandments. That's the, that's the milk. The law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. How are you going to be in the kingdom of God and ain't no laws? I could just do whatever I please because Christ died. Christ didn't die so we could do what we want to do. Christ died so we could get grace. We can get a period of time so we can repent. So we can be re reconciled to our Father. Redeem. You think he's sitting up there being a lawyer on our behalf? And he is just enjoying us keep sinning over and over and over again? One more. Bring it out. The book of Sirach, chapter 32, verse number 24. Bring it out. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment. And he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. He that believeth what? He, he that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. So if you say you believe in Jesus, you should be taking heed to the commandments. And he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. Yeah, it's going to go good for you if you put your trust in the Lord. If not, you're going to be punished. What you holding, brother? No, no, go back to where you were. Give me Hosea, chapter 4, verse uh, 6, right quick. And you give me uh, uh, oh, no, Mal whole Malachi 2 7. Bring it out. Hosea. Because my people perish for lack of knowledge. We don't want to keep God law. We say the Lord, the Christian church is always bringing out Hosea 4 6. They, 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 they just love to bring out precept. They out up there on the microphone. Ha! Ah, and ha! Ah. God said, my people is destroyed for lack of knowledge. My, my, my. And then the crowd talking about, yeah, Pastor. Say it, Pastor. Preach. 
but he don't bring out no precept upon precept to let you know what that means. Bring it out. Hosea 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. My people are the Israelites. The Israelites don't have no kingdom. We got kicked out of Israel, scattered into all nations, and put under heavy oppression. My people are what? Are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And what is the knowledge? Bring it out. Malachi 2 and 7. What is the knowledge that we Israelites lack as to the reason why we are in a destroyed state as it is this day? For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The priest's lips must what? Should keep knowledge. And what? And they should seek the law at his mouth. The Israelites should seek the law at who mouth? At his mouth. At the priest's mouth. That's the knowledge that we lack in the laws of God. We are a lawless people. Give me all Matthew chapter 7 verse 21. Then you bring out Ezekiel. Give me Matthew chapter 7 verse 21. Bring it out. Matthew 7 21. We always Lord. God say listen. Christ said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do a damn thing I say? Lord this and Lord that. You know the Lord is so good. The Lord is this. You know the Lord is my life. But when it's time to keep God lost, you buck. Christ didn't come here. You think God, Yahweh put his son, Yahweh shall in charge. Christ is in charge. Right. But to do what? He said, I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Right. Thy law is in my heart. He came here to do God's law. He came here to teach the Israelites how to keep God's laws. How to be holy. Bring it up. Matthew 7 and verse 21. Stop talking about <laughs> Lord this and Lord that. And listen to this. Not every man that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Just because you say Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, just because you say Yahweh, just because you in the Christian church talking about Jesus, 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 huh? Not many what? That saith unto me, Lord, Lord. Not many of you Israelites <coughs> that say, Lord, Lord, that say Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, gonna what? Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not going to get into the kingdom of heaven. But who are the Israelites going to make it through them pearly gates or them twelve gates with the name? But he that doeth the will of my father. But he that do what? The but will of my, my father. father. And then Christ say, uh, Here I am, O God. I delight to do thy will. Your law is written in my heart. Read that again. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father. The will of my Father. Christ came to show us how to do the will of his Father, which is to keep God's laws. Right. That's right. Keep going. Which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day. Many of you Israelites going to say in that day when Christ returns. Lord, 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 have we not prophesied in thy name? Haven't we prophesied in your name? And in thy name cast out devils? And in your name we cast out devils? And in thy name have done many wonders. And we works. have done many wondrous works. You understand? In your name. And then I will profess unto them, I, I never, never knew, knew you. you. What is our Messiah going to say? I, I never, never knew, knew you. you. No, he's going to say, Welcome into the kingdom of heaven. I, I never, never knew, knew you. What How in the world can that be? Mm. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. No, I thought you were going to tell me welcome home. No. Depart from me, ye that <laughs> work iniquity. You're going to say get the hell out of my damn face. Hell yeah. You lawless people. That's right. You wouldn't keep my father's laws. I died for you. To give you an opportunity you got there go repent. The book of Mark, chapter 1, verse number 15. Bring it up. And say, the time is revealed, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe in the gospel.